This conference is, uh, comes at a very important time, at least in our view. Um, the theoretical questions have been completely solved. There's a, a beautiful, very simple theory, but uh, kind of radically different from the way you're used to thinking about things. But now it's time to take it out for a spin. Every theory uh, needs work in order to apply it. How do we understand historical episodes? How do we understand the data? How do we understand the inflation in the US in the 1980s? How do we understand the Great Depression and the gold standard? What do we say about policy? How do we understand the slow decline in inflation with big deficits now? What role does, does expectations of, of budgets play? Does discount rates and present values play? What role does the maturity structure of government debt play? How, where does monetary policy fit in? Is it important that prices are sticky or not sticky? How, how do you understand history, understand the data, and apply it to better policy? That's big work, even for a theory where all the theoretical stuff has been worked out. And uh, this conference is an agenda-setting conference. Let's, let's figure out what are the best approaches to all of these application parts of a theory that I think now we can say, at least in our group, is settled. We don't have to have any more theoretical controversies. There is a question that comes up to us um, all the time, which is, are inflation expectations well anchored? This is very important for the Federal Reserve because we make our decisions about uh, when we move interest rates, we're trying to uh, move, we move the nominal interest rate with the, the goal of influencing real interest rates, which are net of inflation. So it's very important for that, that inflation expectations don't move around. We, there is not a good model within the Federal Reserve of what shapes longer run inflation expectations. The fiscal theory, the price level, potentially offers that longer run model. That government debt, um, the interplay between uh, government debt and people's beliefs about um, how much taxes the government will collect could serve potentially as that, as that model. But it, I would say at this point we're still, still learning about that.